Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. To all the new faces here, I'm Raj. And yep, you heard that right. It's been a while since I last uploaded a video on my channel. But hey, you know, life happens. But this time, I'm here to stay. So let's dive straight in. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some movies that just might be the reason I chose to study physics at university. If you know me, you know that I make, I base major life decisions based on the movies and TV shows that I watched and I get influenced by them pretty easily. All right, so without wasting any further time, let's dive right into it. First up is The Theory of Everything. This movie follows the incredible journey of Stephen Hawking, starting from his undergrad days at Oxford to the groundbreaking work at Cambridge. What's inspiring here isn't just the physics of the movie. It's how Hawking faces life challenges head on. The movie's stunning Cambridge backdrops combined with moments where Hawking explains his ideas to his wife really hit home for me. It's not all equations. It's about the genius behind those equations. And believe me, it's as beautiful to look at as it is to think about it. Next, we've got A Beautiful Mind directed by Ron Howard. This is the story of John Nash, a genius whose contributions to mathematics changed the world. Fun fact. When I studied microeconomics in the first year at my university, we were taught uh, the Nash equilibrium, which is one of the biggest ideas in economics. And yes, this movie follows the same Nash that we're talking about. But this movie isn't just about the math. It's about Nash's struggle with schizophrenia, a disease which causes intense hallucinations. It shows how Nash managed to navigate the extremely blurred line between imagination and reality and still was able to conduct groundbreaking research. If you want to feel inspired by the human spirit and get a glimpse of how genius minds operate behind the screens, this is a must watch for you. Okay, nerd alert. The next one is Particle Fever, a documentary which follows a group of scientists during the first ever run at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva in Switzerland. Imagine this, a machine so big that it spans two countries. This is the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, which was built to discover new particles by colliding high energy particles at extremely high speeds. This documentary takes you behind the scenes, following the brilliant scientists involved in the Collider's first ever run. You get to see the mix of experimental and theoretical physics and the sheer excitement when history is made. If you've ever wondered what being at the cutting edge of exciting new physics discovery feels like, this documentary is your ticket to it. This next film has a special place in my heart, The Imitation Game. As someone who studied in Manchester, where Alan Turing worked and is celebrated, this one feels close to home. Turing was a trailblazer. He's known as the father of the modern computer and was one of the pioneers of AI. Two things that dominate our world today. This movie focuses on his crucial role in cracking the German Enigma code during World War II. It's a heartbreaking story of brilliance underappreciated in its time, but it's also a celebration of his legacy. Please do watch this one, it's powerful. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you must have definitely heard about Oppenheimer. Directed by Christopher Nolan and starring Killian Murphy in the lead role, this movie is a cinematic masterpiece. It follows Robert Oppenheimer, the genius physicist who spearheaded the Manhattan Project. What's incredible about this film is how it brings to life the legendary figures you've definitely read about in school. Einstein, Heisenberg, Feynman, and many more. And trust me, if you're into the history of physics, this movie is a must watch for you. If you didn't know, this movie follows Robert Oppenheimer with his team during the Manhattan Project, which involved all of these brilliant scientists in building the world's first atomic bomb during World War II. So yes, if you have not watched it, which I guess you must have, please. Give it a watch right now. The next movie on this list needs no introduction. We are talking about Interstellar. Interstellar is another movie directed by Nolan that I've probably watched over 10 times. This movie combines breathtaking visuals, a heartwarming story, and here's the kicker, physics. From black holes to relativity, Interstellar stays grounded in scientific reality while exploring the worlds of the future, thanks to the legendary physicist Kip Thorne, who was an advisor on the film. If you haven't seen this film yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Find the biggest screen and the best sound system you can and let this movie blow your mind. And finally, here's something different from the rest of the list. The TV sitcom you definitely have heard about, The Big Bang Theory. It might not be as serious or factual as the other entries, but honestly, it might just be the biggest reason I ended up choosing physics. Unlike the dramatic or cinematic portrayal of scientific geniuses, this movie gave me a peek into the kind of life I actually wanted to live. Not a lavish one, but one filled with curiosity, discovery and friends who geek out about science with you. 
watching Sheldon, Leonard, Raj and Howard debate physics over takeout or celebrate the smallest victories in their research made that world seem fun, exciting and well possible. It's not just about what they studied, it's about how they lived, always learning, always questioning and always laughing along the way. Honestly, isn't that what being a physicist is all about?